The ballista's getting better at collaterals. Starting to get like four and five at a time. Then again, these guys aren't making it particularly difficult. Hey, that's a strike. <gasps> Way to go. Oh no, uh, actually it's a spare. You gotta pick up the last pin. Hello. <laughs> Did he just talk to me before dying? What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, we've got more combat battles. I know people want me to return and face off against the armies that you guys have been leaving in the comments of these videos. But first, funny enough, the most frequent comment that I've been getting hasn't been an army. It's been people pointing out the fact that the door is now glowing. This has been a secret in tabs ever since the game was released. We still have no idea what's behind it or why it exists, and up until this point, it's just been a stone door. It's been nothing special, but now something seems to have activated it. And because of that, a lot of people have a lot of ideas on how to open it. So I'm gonna test some of those ideas out. Now the door isn't the first place that we've seen this logo before. Like other than the fact that it is the landfall logo, the developers of tabs, but we've also seen it in game on Vikings which is really weird because this is a medieval level. There should be no place for Vikings here, but a lot of people seem to think that the Berserker might be the key to opening the door. And when you look at his belt buckle, it's nearly identical to what's sealing the door, except for the fact that it's twisted. So maybe they can untwist what's on the door and open it. I gotta try at the very least to stop the comments from flowing in. So <laughs> I'm gonna have this Berserker hump the door, I guess? Hope for the best. I think the first time we tried screwing around with opening up this door, we didn't have the ability to possess units yet. Like, that wasn't in the game, so we would place them down here and then they would run up to battle or, or just walk off the edge into the water and drown because they're idiots. <laughs> but now, we should be able to take control of you, back you off the ledge, turn you around, and have you give this door a hearty humpin'. Also, I've switched it around so that we can be blue. Normally, the red army would be on this side, but the door is blue, so you would imagine that you would need to be blue to make this work? I can't hump. There's no, well, there's no jump button, but there's also no hump button. <laughs> Space isn't working, so I can only jump at enemies. We don't have any luck with the berserker. Okay, well, I'm not gonna waste any time. We'll move on to another Viking. How about a Jarl? Look, technically, he's higher up on the pecking order. If anybody should be able to open this door, it should be the leader of the Vikings, you would think. So we'll just turn you around and give you the old heave ho. I don't think we can use axes to chop it down, guys. Like, I need that hip thrusting open sesame, but it's just not getting there. Oh God, he's dead. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in first person with the Yarrow before. I can see inside my own bear mouth. I think the bear makes noises. I thought I heard an animal behind me, but it's probably on top of me. You got any hints, bear? Because we're not, we're not getting anywhere. We're just kind of falling into ourselves. Another unit that a lot of people want to see tested out is Zeus, because his lightning bolts look identical to the logo, right? It's the exact same effect, so maybe if we bolt this logo, we'd have a little bit better luck. Oh, that's weird. So the bolts actually stick in the door. If I could hit the door, maybe that would get somewhere. Okay, well, I gotta aim like all the way up here, but... Well, I'm technically hitting it, but no, no luck. I don't know what you're saying, Zeus. I don't speak gobbledygook Greek, but yeah, we're not getting anywhere. I didn't think the lightning bolts would stick in stuff like that. <laughs> no luck. What do I need to do to open you? As far as I could tell, Landfall has never said anything about this door. Like, ever. They've never even recognized its existence. We have no idea what they're doing here, but I would imagine it was one of the recent updates that activated it, and we've gotten a lot of new units in the recent updates. Maybe one of them has something to do with it. I really doubt it would be something like the Raptor or the Raptor Rider or anything broken and derpy like that, but maybe the Reaper? The Reaper's pretty special, right? Maybe we can give this the old heave-ho with our sight and get through there, no? Again, I can see inside my own head, which may be problematic, but... <laughs> no! 
And strangely enough, I don't have a button that can control my tentacles anymore. That's weird. I mean, there used to be a button that didn't work. Now, I guess the tentacles are automatic. We might need to try that out later. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. One of the recent updates that we got wasn't just new units, it was a second version of this map, right? Spooky 1 is the exact same thing, except spookier, and I don't know if there's a door down here. Maybe there's a reciprocal version of it that we need to activate? Or an inactive version that we need to activate? I need to get some light down here. Yeah, turns out there aren't that many units that can produce light in this game, because being a flashlight isn't all that relevant during war times. But we do have the skeleton archer. He's got fire arrows and a drawstring up his nose. I think we can fix that, hopefully. I'm really just banking on the fact that we can see anything. It puts the arrow out right away. Does it normally do this? I, I, I can't even see when it's on my bow. Like, there's nothing here. And I don't mean a lack of door, I mean like nothing, nothing. If I had a nose, I wouldn't be able to see it in front of my face. I have tried fire, I've tried bombs, I've tried ice, I've tried everything imaginable. I, I wedged Snuffy's ass in there once before. Nothing is working, this door is not opening. We're moving on to combat battles. <laughs> Up first, we have the Holy Hand Grenade. One bomb thrower and a whole lot of priests. I couldn't resist picking this one because it's a great Monty Python reference, but I know it's not gonna be a good fight. Like, even if I don't use my full 2500, I'll just use one ballista. How about that? $900, that's all I need. <laughs> and you know what? If that one bomb thrower manages to throw a bomb before he gets picked off, then... Nope, nope, didn't quite work out. <laughs> It was kind of like one priest wasn't told that they don't celebrate Halloween and he showed up and it was really awkward. The ballista's getting better at collaterals. Starting to get like four and five at a time. Then again, these guys aren't making it particularly difficult. Hey, that's a strike! <laughs> Way to go! Oh no, uh, actually it's a spare. Whoa. You gotta pick up the last pin. Ooh. Hello! <laughs> Did he just talk to me before dying? I mean, technically, I am the god of tabs. It's raining arrows, every archer unit. I know the spear thrower and the potion seller and the blunderbuss aren't technically archers, but they're kind of the archer of their faction, and I wanted to have one from every single faction. So we've got 10 factions, 10 archers, and Artemis, obviously, because you can't have the archer faction without their god. And I'm gonna send in nothing but hay balers. <laughs> because I'm just the worst like that. I'll be fair, you know, I won't put them right up against the line. We'll give the archers at least a little bit of time. Hopefully gun down some of my guys, but I mean, this is pretty cheesy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Artemis might be a problem and there are a lot of strange projectiles getting thrown at me right now. People are attached to balloons and drunk and falling over. And Chuko New is going for a walk? Wait, what? He backs up? Why is he the only archer smart enough to do that? Like, if every archer did that in the game, they would be insane. If they were smart enough to keep the distance and keep away from melee units, they would be nuts. Okay, you guys gotta overwhelm her eventually. Come on, just whack those thighs with your sticks. No, 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 we actually lost this. Are you kidding me? How did you lose? You're literally the anti-archer unit. I can't believe that. Like, I thought for sure that was gonna be a slaughter. But apparently not, Artemis is just way too much. So why don't we try vampires? And again, I'll give them a little bit of space, like it's gonna matter because we're gonna rush them in bat form, but the vampires are kinda stupid. They're just gonna lie down on top of them and then they won't be able to shoot anything. <laughs> okay guys, you can't all go for the appetizers at once. Some of you gotta go for the main course. There we go. Suck those godly titties. <gasps> oh yeah. 
did not stand a chance. What is going on right now? I've never seen a dog pile like that before. I need to use mass vampires more often. That was just a giant suck pile. The most annoying battle. One bird. I shit you not, at one point this was the most liked comment on the last video. People seem to really enjoy this stupid meme. I, I did this last time where I had to face off against a halfling, which meant I could only use a halfling, even though you guys pointed out that I could have also used a painter. They are the only two units that cost 50 in the game. Technically, the bard costs 60. I'm gonna try a painter. I can't even take control of them, though, so I'm just gonna have to watch him chase him around. Oh, the halfling would have been better because at least he grabs hold. You're just gonna paint his frilly butt and let him run off. Oh, oh, good, good. I think he's got his dick stuck in a fence. Get him, get him, get, finish him off. There we go, just, just paint his back. Yeah, that, that'll teach him cyanide paint, maybe. Thank God, okay, he, he didn't get to run for long. I got lucky there, I'm not doing it again, okay? Screw you guys for trying this in the first place. Play chess, where the king is the king, the queen is the pirate queen, a bishop is a priest, a knight is cavalry, a rook is a shield bearer, and a pawn is a hobbit. That is a really good idea. I like this. Like, I, I couldn't get both sides perfectly perpendicular and lined up, but at the same time, I don't think it's gonna matter because having the knights be cavalry is a massive colossal mistake. They are going to run train on everything. <laughs> You see what I mean? They, they just ruin it all! <laughs> and then the bombs come out. Okay, so uh, if a king dies, it's game over. Oh no, the two kings are alive. Okay, so are we gonna get a checkmate? It's king versus king. Oh, oh, we've got a bit of a rook flank happening right now. Is that some kind of special gambit? Where is the blue king? I think the blue king is dead. That's checkmate. Okay, red wins. And red wins. We, we knew that. <laughs> Stupid horses, man. You just you can't take them anywhere. Death to all. You were surrounded by 30 executioners. I very rarely get surrounded in these combat battles, so I like it. Also, I haven't seen much of the executioner. We unlock them, we use them a little bit, and I don't even remember what they do. So I'm a little concerned with the fact that 30 of them cost $10,000. That seems excessive. I'm... Just gonna throw snuffies at them, right? If you have a real thick neck, or no neck at all in some cases, then you can't have your head lopped off. <laughs> We're gonna have to fill up the rest with... I don't know, I wanna use something that I don't see all that often. Something really dumb. What if we use... Oh! Yeah, let's get a, a Lady Red Jade or two. Cool. Okay, technically they are kind of at a disadvantage, but screw it. I, I, I want to use Lady Red Jade. That's another weird unit that we unlocked and didn't get to use all that often, but she is very different. I want to say that they upgraded her. She looks a whole lot cooler now. I got demolished. I was busy looking at her ornate dress and metal bound titties. Never even really got a chance because the executioners lopped us to bits. That wasn't even close. I think they changed them as well. Wow, they look cool. <laughs> that stupid bag is menacing. We need sacrificial lambs. We're gonna have to use halflings. And I'm thinking if we spread them far enough apart, then maybe they'll each get multiple ax swings wasted on them. And then these guys, it, it might take them a while to cock back that ax again. It's like swinging around a van door, so hopefully that will work out in our favor. And that's only $1,200. So if we wanted to spend a whole bunch of money on stuff like skeleton archers and just pack them into the middle, we might be able to hope for the best that way. Uh, maybe a couple of sword casters and... I, I'm thinking just more more cannon fodder. All, all the cannon fodder. We just want to delay for as long as possible in all reality. Just pepper them through there. <laughs> it's gonna be so many tiny little sliced up hobbits, but it'll be worth it if we can get just a couple of shots off. There we go. Ooh, that looks good. 
I like the look of this. I'm seeing a lot of fire. I'm seeing a lot of swords. I'm seeing a lot of dead executioners. The hobbits are getting down and dirty and actually surviving. Wait, what? Why are some of the... Why did some of the hobbits live? <laughs> well, that's an added bonus, I guess. Defend the father. 10 fencers, 15 muskets, one priest, and two halberds. Bit of a twist on the defend the hobbit idea. I like that. If anything, this should be a little bit better for blue because the hobbit gets drunk and rowdy and wants to fight, whereas the priest is completely... I was going to say celibate, but that's not drinking. That's banging. Either way, he doesn't want to drink or bang or fight. He's going to stay in the back and be perfectly safe. I need to deal with a lot of guns and a lot of pointy swords, and I don't have a lot of money to do it. I'm thinking if we're coming after the priest, we probably want to use the undead, so how about we get some skeletal warriors, some skeletal archers, some vampires, some candle heads, a uh, pumpkin catapult, and the rest will be hobbits, just to prove that they're the best ones to be defended. <laughs> because reasons, okay? Because I said so. This is the least strategic thing I think I've ever done. Right, 15 muskets. I was wondering why all my skeletons evaporated immediately. Fortunately, these guys do not do a whole lot. Yeah, once they've blown their loads, they don't have a whole lot left to give. The priest wouldn't know anything about that. Like I said, he's celibate, but... Oh, God. They get pinned to the wall and burned alive. Did we lose, like, yeah, I mean, we, we lost some. Actually, we lost a lot. I, I didn't quite realize. <laughs> it was closer than I thought, but we, we got him. He, he's down. He's banging people in the afterlife now. Charge! Ten raptors, five cavalry, five jousters, and ten wheelbarrows. Thanks, I hate it. They're gonna be on top of me instantly. I changed what was requested a little bit because there are different kinds of wheelbarrows. So I have five regular and five fire. And then I wasn't sure if by raptor, you meant raptor or raptor rider. So I put in both. So we have a little bit of everything and that's $32,000 worth of crap. So I'm gonna get a big army. And by big, I mean in size and not quantity. I'm just gonna use nothing but ice giants. I feel like that would really be able to slap around some of these little idiots. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I don't even need to use all my money. Screw them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they can all run into my fists. <laughs> oh, that worked perfectly. We completely just dick slapped those horses. Oh my God, that worked so much better than I expected. I almost feel bad, like I should do that again. No more giants, because that's clearly not fair, so instead, we're gonna use bombs. <laughs> we'll use bomb cannons, we'll use bomb throwers, maybe even a few firework archers if I wanna get around to it, even though I probably won't have enough money. I just wanna see a horse fly over a building. I feel like that isn't asking too much. This is going to murder my frame rate, and a lot of dinosaurs. You guys needed to aim further into the crowd. Oh crap, okay, bomb throwers, get in there. There we go, that's the volley that I'm looking for. There's so many grenades. Please explode, please explode, yes! The horses got launched on top of us, which may not be a good thing. Yeah, in retrospect, that's not a good thing. Getting crushed by a horse isn't exactly a moral victory. I think this is a loss. Yep, feels like a loss, but it was worth it. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And once again, we didn't get through the door, but I kind of expected that. And you gotta try, right? It's like I said, Landfall isn't saying anything about this door, so we have to at least try to get through or else we're never actually gonna know. So keep leaving your recommendations both for the door and for armies, and I'll keep picking more and do more combat battles. Just, once again, follow the rules. You know, only use a couple dozen units so it doesn't lag my game. I'll, I'll be a little bit loose on how many units you use if it's interesting, but that's the most important thing. Make it interesting. Make it something that we haven't seen before. We've seen every unit in front of Cheer
cheerleaders. We've seen Holy Snuffy. We've seen the Holy Reaper. Try something new and you have a better chance of getting picked. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.